안녕하세요, everyone. This is Jia. Today we'll be making galbitang. Galbitang is a delicious clear broth that is made with beef short ribs. This soup is fairly simple to make, but you need to know a few tips to make a clear, deep, and very nice galbitang. Let's get started. Place the beef short ribs in a big bowl. We want to soak the ribs in cold water for about an hour to drain all the blood from the short ribs. You may change the water after the first 30 minutes. Let's drain water. Add the ribs into the pot and we'll start cooking in cold water. Then, we want to bring it to a boil. When it starts to boil, wait until you cannot find any blood from the rib. This will help to remove most of scum and make a clean broth. Meanwhile, we want to prepare the aromatic ingredients. Roughly cut white radish and green onion. Chop half stock of green onion to add to the soup just before serving. In a small pouch, add black peppercorns and garlic. Dried kelp would be used to flavor the soup. Now, let's throw out the dirty water. I like to reduce dishes and pots when cooking, so we want to rinse dirty pot as well. The ribs are par cooked and there are lots of scum and bone fragments in it. So rinse the ribs well with water. This process is very important to make clean broth. Finally, the ribs are ready to made into a broth. Now, we're going to start again by adding fresh water to the clean ribs and add some aromatics to it. Place the clean ribs in the pot and add water to cover. Add green onion. The roots are not edible, but it gives a nice flavor to the broth. Add herbs, spices, and vegetables to the pot. Now we want to bring it to a boil again. When boiling, lower the heat and we want to cook it in a reduced heat for about 30 minutes. Then pull out all the ingredients except for the ribs. Make sure the radish is fully cooked because we're going to slice it and add it to the soup. We'll continue simmering covered until the meat gets tender. It will take about additional 50 minutes. Cool the radish and cut into bite-sized pieces. If the radish is undercooked, you'll need to add it back to the broth and cook until soft. Now, let's season the soup with salt and soup soy sauce. Let's check our kalbitang. It has been cooked in a low heat in total about an hour and a half. And let me taste it. Everything is well cooked, so the broth looks clear. So yummy. It tastes very clean, but has a very deep and savory flavor. Okay, let's Put this in a bowl and have a meal. Serve two to three pieces of short ribs and a few slices of white radish per person. Ladle some broth to the bowl and add one tablespoon of sliced green onion before serving. Today, I follow traditional recipe of making galbitang. 
and I think it tastes the best when made like this. Thank you for watching and I'll meet you on my next video.